render pass. Render pass basically means extracting rendering attributes of a scene in uh, individual rendering. So for example, you can extract the shadow of your object in your scene so you can composite the shadow later on so you have uh, flexibility of making the shadow darker or lighter very easily without the need to re-render. In XSI we have uh, a list of past presets available so it's all you have to do is choose that preset from the list. For example, I'm choosing a highlight pass preset and automatically it will create a highlight pass that I'll be able to render right away. In XSI, when you create passes, you don't need to save a new scene. All your passes are saved with your production scene. So when you create a pass, it opens uh, the pass property page from which you can adjust the, all the parameters uh, specific to that pass. Once the pass is chosen from the uh, pass uh, pull-down list, you can start a render region and get right away the pass result. So now you can see the highlight pass rendered. So only the highlight in this case is rendered, is visible. So if I go back and choose the default pass again, the render region will render the, the, the beauty pass. So the, the default pass as uh, your object in the, the, the beauty pass kept all its uh, default material. So I can create the same way a shadow pass and automatically it will render only the shadow if that uh, shadow pass is selected from the list. I'm typing shadow pass as the image output name. So I'll be later on able to simply choose render all pass and render automatically uh, a different image for a different pass. One great thing in XSI is that when you render all pass, you don't need to tessellate again the scene for each frame. Each frame render all the passes without the need to tessellate again. So from the scene explorer, you can see the list of paths that we have just created, the highlight and the shadow pass, and the default pass. If we extend one pass, you can see the render option property that is there from which you can change all the settings of that pass. And you have the usual background object and background light partition that is uh, there by default. Everything not selected into a custom partition will be uh, included in the background partition. So now in our case, we only have the background partition since all the objects are in it. And this is where we apply the shadow shader directly to that background object.